it's me and you winning trades. That's it. That's what we do. Well, I can do that. I can, and I, I can, I can do that right from, right from the office. Right there. Yep. I turn this shit right up. I'll be right downstairs and see us out. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yep. So I'm right there doing it live right there. And I don't even know what that might bring. No idea. I'm recording the video right now as you're talking. <laughs> I think I had the last. I think I had the last night. Yo, we was on, on training and I was um in the trade. Oh, while we were on the training, right? And you were talking, and you were talking while I was um, on the video. <laughs> and then you were training while we were in the trade. Yes. Yes, that's what we do. Just, just switch up the whole dynamic of it. Mind you, I'm still recording. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, I just want to trade just now as we talking. This is, um... What is it, day 80, 86? Hang on. Hang on, get, get ready for the ne next team of, li team of lines exclusive. <laughs> yep, it's coming. Another team of lines exclusive coming right at you, Joe. Yep. Yo, stay on the phone. Mm hmm. Ah, welcome, everyone. I'm over here talking to my co-founder and Rico on on the line. But anyway, you guys just see you just saw me win uh my day number eighty six trade. You can see the balance has been updated, sitting at fifteen sixty two. It was a very tight trade at the end. It was on this candle right here, but we got the win. So, you know, we take it in stride and we just stick to the format. Right now the time is around eleven twenty two AM. Today's Monday, March 26th. So, again, this is day number 86 of the One a Day Challenge on Nadex. And um, I'm going to put this on pause real quick, finish talking to Enrico, and I'll make my way back on. All right, you guys hang on. All right, so <clears throat> just got off the phone with my, my co founder. And um, who's that? <laughs> That's him calling me right back. All right, anyway, this is day number 86. I'll be right back momentarily, and we're going to go to the spreadsheet, talk about that a little bit, and we'll pick it up from there. All right, hang on. All right, spreadsheet. Let's talk about it a little bit. Spreadsheet. So today being number day number 86, that puts us right within week number 15 of the spreadsheet um week number 15 begins with day number 85 so we're one we're two days into week 15. end of this week would be 90 day 90 because 15 times 6 which is the number of days within each week would be 90 days so the end of this week is going to represent day number 90 the spreadsheet projection is 1450 at the end of this week. And we are two days into the week. We have four days remaining. Which means that we still have four days of profits to add on to our balance here. And that will put us at the end of the week. So in other words, on day 90, four more days of profits added on to this will represent the end of day, excuse me, the end of week 15. Right now, we're only two days into week 15. And we're already outpacing the uh, balance from the spreadsheet. There's a reason for that that I talk about in every video. We get better execution on our trades when we take individual trades. And what happens is this accumulates over time and it leads to more profits. 
So this is the reason why right now my balance is at 1562. But you can see the projection from the spreadsheet for the end of this week. And we still have four days left to go to get to the end of this week. The projection is, is 1450 by the end of this week, and we're already at 1562. So you can see we're going to be continuing to outpace the spreadsheet. We're already above what the projection from the spreadsheet is now, and we're only in day number two of week 15 which is actually day number 86. So we're in the second day of the 15th week, day number 86, okay? I hope I'm not confusing any of you. It, it, by now, you guys should understand. I, I talk about this shit in every video, so you should really get it by now. But anyway, um, I like to talk about that just to um, explain why there's a disparity between the balances, the projection from the spreadsheet, and what the actual balance in the account is. Uh, the same thing is likely to happen to you when you follow the spreadsheet because you're going to get better fills. You're going to get better execution on your individual trades. You're not always going to earn the minimum. The spreadsheet is based on the minimum that we earn on one trade. The absolute smallest amount that we can earn is what the spreadsheet is based upon. All right, so let's go out further and look at where we would be in six months. And we're not far from that. We're in week 15. That would represent week 26. So, you know, we're less than nine weeks away from being at um, the, the, the six-month level. Two contracts, balance around 2800 bucks, And the spreadsheet has the money management built into it, so it shows you exactly at what point to scale up your contract size. So if you just follow the spreadsheet, based upon your balance and your account, the spreadsheet will tell you exactly at what point to scale up your contract size, okay? We go out to a year, and this is where it really gets amazing and very powerful. You'll be at 20 contracts. 20 contracts represents about $300 a day minimum. 300 bucks a day minimum. So basically, within a year, you can position yourself starting with $100 to apply your skill in the market every day, the same way that you see me demonstrate, you know, there are going to be days where it comes very close. Today was one of those days for me. Um, you know, it, 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 it could have been a losing trade, it, even if it was a losing trade. Who cares? At this point, we've won so much that it's irrelevant if a lose does come into the picture because you just follow the spreadsheet. You just continue to follow the spreadsheet. Wherever your balance ends up being at, you pick up from that point and you apply the same number of contracts based upon your balance in your account. You follow the same money management of the spreadsheet. Just stick to it. Don't deviate from the spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet, as you continue to trade, because you're going to win your trades. You learn this skill, you are going to win your trades. You, you're going to win. It just is what it is. You know, the, the framework, our parameters, everything that we use to build up our skill. And your skill is being built up continuously when you remain in training with us. That's why, you know, people don't really fully understand yet. They will, but they don't get it yet. When you just remain in training, you're constantly exposed to the market from the perspective that we're seeing the market from. And we're training you to see the market from the same perspective. But you have to realize that the market switches up and it changes. So when the market changes, if you're not prepared because you're not familiar enough with the market because you haven't put in enough time, when the market switches up and changes and you don't know how to react and how to deal with that, but you are still in training with us and you receive what you need as far as your nurturing and, you know, just updated information you just are going to receive what you need by remaining in training with us there's really no other way to explain it so people ask all the time well how long is it going to take me to learn the skill learning the skill is an ongoing thing i constantly am improving my skill i don't just have skill and then that's it what happens when the market switches up on you 
if you don't know what to do because you don't have the experience and the time in to know the behavior of the market that you're dealing with, eventually you're going to end up, you know, losing and putting yourself in position to lose because you're not understanding what the change in the market means and how to adapt and how to adjust to it. You need mentors that are going to break that down and adjust on the fly and then communicate the way that that adjustment needs to be made to you. That's the purpose of us training continuously. Training never stops. Anyone that, you know, is in, say you a boxer, you train the whole time up to the fight. You get paid when you are at the fight and win the fight. You see what I'm saying? After you win this fight, you're training for the next fight. You don't win this fight and then just fight somebody immediately after that. You fight, win, train. Fight, win, train. In that order. Y'all hang on a second. Let me take this call. Uh, this is nobody I want to talk to. I don't believe. I don't even recognize the number. All right, whatever. So anyway, that's the protocol for why you know, we have put the training at such a low price because we understand that you're going to need to be in training continuously. It's not something that you do one week, one month, a few months. Oh, I got it. I'm good. I'm out. Okay. What happens is many times people will get into training with us. They'll learn a degree of the skill. They think they got it. They go, they go out there on their own. They start trading, they start winning, and then they lose for some reason and don't understand why they lost. And it's that right there, that small thing, the fact that you don't know why you lost, that is the reason why you need to remain in training because you have to be dealing with those that are more experienced with the market than you are. Me and Enrico got 20 plus years of experience. It is what it is. You have to understand that that's the reason why when you see us trade in different type of market environments, we're able to navigate whatever the environment is. It doesn't matter what the environment is. For some reason, we can find trades and we can win. You think that that's an accident? No. The market that was back in December and November of last year, that's not the same market that we're in right now in March. It wasn't the same market in January and February. The market changes. So if you're not able to navigate your way through the changes, you're going to lose. And when you lose, you don't understand why you're losing. So you're going to lose even more. And that's what goes on with people. But anyway, um, so, yeah, you can see. You follow the spreadsheet, you stay in training, just remain steadfast, focus, focus and focus. This is all simplified. You don't have to complicate it. You don't have to add to it. You don't have to bring in your Forex knowledge and all of these other indicators and stuff that you're used to using. If you're coming from the Forex world, when you come to this, this is not the Forex world at all. Like nothing that we're doing falls under the auspices of Forex as far as what you're used to at all. It's different. It's different. We're teaching you how to actually see the market itself. You don't need an indicator for that. You don't need a strategy for that. You need you, your eyeballs, and the way that you're interpreting what you're seeing. That's what we teach you, and it's an ongoing thing. So that's why you really need to remain in training. It's not about, you know, oh, well, I got the training and I'm good now. Okay. You're going to learn the hard way. And, you know, I, I, this is something that I'm just saying because this is what actually goes on with people. People leave and they come back. You know, they leave. They didn't get the full understanding of it to begin with. They might have gave up too fast. They come back. They get out there. They realize that there's nothing out there like what we're doing. It is what it is. The truth is always going to be the truth. You can't change it. You got to accept it. You got to accept it and receive it. And then that's how you're going to win. Anyway, oh, I'm at the end of the video. All right, I'm out.
goodness.